The final trailer for Rogue One, A Star Wars Story has arrived, and it finally pulls back the curtain on exactly what fans can expect from the franchise's first spin-off story. Just for you, we watched it 50 times and kept our eyes peeled for things you might have missed in the new Rogue One trailer. Father-Daughter Story With all the jump cuts and mood lighting, you might have actually missed the central thrust of the trailer, which is that the whole thing really boils down to a father-daughter story which is sort of familiar territory for this whole Star Wars thing. So you understand? I understand. When Jin's father Galen is seized by stormtroopers, she's left behind to fend for herself. But when the rebels free her years later, it turns out Dad is, in fact, working for the Empire to create the Death Star. Can they stop the Death Star and save Daddy at the same time? We need to find him. We'll find out. That's one big statue. Unlike the main Star Wars saga films, Rogue One is not expected to feature any Jedi in a meaningful way, Darth Vader excluded. Instead, this has been pitched as a story of regular folks taking on the big, bad empire. But this gorgeous shot of a Ewing ship flying over the remnants of a massive fallen Jedi statue shows their influence is still a part of this larger world. Hmm. Darth Vader looms large. Speaking of Darth Vader, the new footage here finally shows him in action, suggesting he may play a bigger role than previously expected. Could Vader's confrontation with Imperial bad guy director Krennic happen after the Rebel team inflicts some damage on the Death Star project? Ship shape. We weren't sure until now what Rogue One actually meant. Director Gareth Edwards had previously told Empire Magazine that the film's title was more of a metaphor for the project itself, as the first spin-off film not following known characters like Luke, Leia, and the rest of the gang. But on screen, we learned that it's also the impromptu call sign they come up with for their ship during the mission. Rogue. Rogue One. It feels more hopeful. It's no secret the film went back in for extensive reshoots a few months before its December 2016 release date, with rumors swirling that Disney wanted the film to look and feel more upbeat and hopeful. Take hold of this moment. And this attitude shows in the trailer, which has a vibe much closer to that of the original Star Wars A New Hope. Sure, it's an us-against-the-world story, but the Rebels do still believe they can win. Rebellions are built on hope. The team goes undercover as Imperial officers. One fleeting shot shows Jen and other members of her Rebel Strike team disguised as Imperial officers. Could this be the moment where they first break into the Imperial stronghold to find Galen? Also, for fans of the original trilogy, the undercover move is a classic tactic to access Empire facilities. I can't see a thing in this helmet. Nice callback. It's a little short for a stormtrooper. Huh? Oh, the uniform. Seesaw. Forrest Whitaker is playing a mysterious man who should be very familiar to fans of Star Wars The Clone Wars. Who are you? I'm Saw Gerrera. It's true, Whitaker has been confirmed as Saul Gerrera, a rebel hero. Bringing in the character marks Star Wars' first major crossover from the TV show to film, and not the other way around. Gerrera was introduced in the Clone Wars animated series as a young man. Now, years later, Saw is all grown up in live action in Rogue One. Awesome! Alienation. It wouldn't be a Star Wars movie if we didn't get to meet a few new alien species. But this design certainly looks like it was pulled from Mad Max Fury Road director George Miller's sketchbook. Despite the Immortan Joe vibe, though, this alien named Edrio Two Tubes is actually an ally of Saw Gerrera. We're glad he's on our side. Space Fights The Force Awakens was pretty great, but it was lacking in one key area, space battles. That looks to change in Rogue One. The footage here shows a fleet of X-Wings attacking a large Imperial ship in space. Finally, Rogue One is putting the Star Wars back in Star Wars. Birth of the Rebellion The Rebel planning scenes, like the one here, echo the feel of the original trilogy. Before the Rebellion took the Empire head-on in A New Hope, these desperate Rebel leaders were figuring out how to join forces on their first major mission. In other words, we're finally bearing witness to the birth of the Rebellion as we first knew it. Make ten men feel like a hundred. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to watch more videos like the one you just saw. And leave us a comment to let us know what you think of the Rogue One trailer.